Grand Rising Aquarius family, welcome to your daily happy Monday the 4th. I tend to sleep in a little bit on Mondays. It is my only day off from work. So, but not really because I have clients on Monday. But it is, I'm grateful that I got to sleep in a bit today. Sleep in, but that means like waking up at 7-ish, not at 5. <laughs> So family, I don't know, how are you guys feeling? I'm feeling a little different on the inside. Um, so I, I was guided by spirit to check to see what's being activated for the Aquarius Collective. Also, um, I heard that there, that there is somebody here in your energy as well that um, is having a, this came out last night. Um, I posted it on Instagram. Um they're having a hard time saying goodbye. They're fighting to emotionally detach from you, not winning. All truth here will be revealed, okay? In this situation, we have um, Mary energy. Our, our inner guidance is clear, but our ego is resisting it. So there's a lot of resistance. What you resist persists, and the truth will set you free. So I'm guided to use these decks today to see um what's going on here because if somebody's still holding on to your energy you can feel it it becomes a little bit harder again it's like important that our mind and our heart is on the same page so that you know um so we're you know moving you know clear in the right so we're not in resistance energy so we're more following our hearts right surrendering here because it's like if our higher self and our heart is telling us one thing, but our ego is fighting it, it creates this uncomfortable feeling within, you know, so um, trying to force our hearts to do something it doesn't want to do, but, it, it, you know, because of circumstances and stuff. Um, so let's just see, let's see what's what, let's just get right into it. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating to the channel, sending decks, scheduling your readings with me. My next available is the 11th, 1111 portal. So family, we have here, I split the deck, we have karmic release and radical transformation, the chamber of the violet flame. So you guys could be transmuting a lot of energy right now. Okay, um, I want to see what, what is being activated because we just finished coming out of that 111 portal, the new moon. Uh, there's lots of shifts taking place in November. You could be feeling it. Okay, woke up feeling a little dizzy today. Um, like my head was, the second I sat up from my bed, my head was spinning. I don't know why. I meditated last night before I fell asleep. I go to bed very early because I'm tired. <laughs> to rust but again i don't know what what went on overnight <laughs> so let's see i don't know if you guys are uh, it's it's the shift in the energy the changing of the season as well what's being activated for aquarius spirit thank you family for every which way you guys contribute it really does help me out and our our channel our community here okay oh nice Nice, nice, nice. Aquarius, beautiful heart activation. Holy, three chakras here. We have three chakra activation. Yeah. Energetic clearing board, rewriting your story, living your truth. Interesting because this happens in your sleep and when you're in meditation. So if there's any kind of like dreams about the past or people from your past or karmic people that are coming up, it's because you're clearing their energy, okay? You're going through a karma clearing, a karma releasing. And then we have Archangel Michael here. Holy, cutting ties, cutting cords, okay? Breakthrough energy, divine protection. Cords are being cut, not from soul family or anyone that's bringing in love, light, healing energy, soul tribe, soul family, but from karmic toxic situations that are... If you call in Archangel Michael, it showed up a lot yesterday on Instagram when I was, yesterday, the, me the message, this very strong message about protection, okay, from the angels, very powerful, very strong message here. You're going through a karmic clearing board. We have heart chakra, heart chakra opening, 
unlocking generosity and kindness and compassion, clearing resentment, anger, envy, bitterness, very grounded energy here. Inner earth jumped for you. Base chakra, that's root. So strength and security and stability. That's why you're not, these chakras are healing. This is your abundance chakra, your safety, your security, your nervous system even, okay? Your roots. That's why uh, this is the underworld. Interesting because we are in Scorpio season. That's why you're not interested in anything or anyone that's not adding to your, that's not bringing in security and stability, okay? Because this is something you're healing. You're opening your, you're releasing any abandonment wounds, releasing any abandonment wounds here, um, codependency. You are opening yourself up, your heart up to love again, okay? To let love in with this heart healing so you're not, you're emotionally available, right? You're not interested in anything or anyone that's not emotionally available or physically available at this also. So inner strength here, uh, inner, inner earth strength and security You're laying your, some solid foundation. So no lightning can come in and strike down your tower, inner earth 97. So let's see. The, the message here. So work on your root chakra at this time. Okay. That's why we keep seeing lots of pentacles. Also the queen of pentacles in your energy, the empress in your energy, the base chakra, also known as the root chakra rooted and grounded fam is found at the base of the spine. It is the energy center that governs our connections to the physical world and all of its lessons. This card transports us to the energetic gateway that connects us to the planet and everything that we have learned during our many lifetimes here. We are being given a powerful opportunity to root down and claim our right to be on the planet, to claim the truth that ultimately we are safe. In the image, there is a gateway below the giant tree. This is the realm called the underworld. This is a spiritual realm visited by shamans journeying to collect energies, meet guardian beings, and reclaim parts of their power or the power of others that have been left behind. Know that if you're searching for parts of yourself, you have the opportunity to find them and build stable foundations. You have the right to feel grounded, safe, and secure. Your message, you're becoming fully aware of what you need in order to feel safe and fulfilled on planet earth. Know that it is a part of your divine plan for you to be incarnated upon the planet, upon this planet now. And although at times you may feel, may have felt unstable or that you have lost your way, you have been building up to the momentum to be where you are today. You're in the space where you can build powerful foundations, a space where you can lay out exactly what you need, who you need to be and what you need to do to flourish and grow. You have the opportunity to reclaim parts of yourself that you bury deep within and reclaim gifts you've abandoned. That's what I feel you're doing now. Okay. You again, unlocking generosity is beautiful. <laughs> Kindness, right? If you're starting any projects or thinking about taking up something you've had on hold, now is the perfect time. The seeds you are planting are sending roots deep into mother earth. You are held, you are supported. Some takes five years sometimes. For, for look at this, you, you're, you're the seeds that you're planted. It's like a, it's creating a solid tree here. Okay. For yourself, it takes time, but you are, um, laying strong foundations for yourself right now. I'm only going to, um, I'm being guided to just continue as well. I'll read uh, the root chakra or I can pull some of the community board. Uh, let me get one, one here for, look, we have miracles, expect the wonders to emerge. You're in the flow, something with the holidays and Christmas there. You see the Mrs. Claus on the sleigh, sleigh bell rings, <laughs> I'm uh, Christmas songs. You, some of you guys really like Christmas songs. I know I do. Everything is smooth sailing from here on out. Okay. I love that. Uh, let me get one for the Aquarius Collective here, Spirit, please, for today. Let me get one for the Aquarius. Wise leader. Grace and gratitude through gratitude. Joy expands. So, again, gratitude. I feel like you guys, even when you are being challenged by situations and people, 
you find something to be grateful for so you can stay in this vibration of love and abundance. We saw that with uh, the violet flame, which is talking about you transmuting energy, you alchemizing, coming out of fear, root chakra. Wow, that's what that is. Uh, the violet flame coming out of fear and into love, heart chakra, okay? From lack to abundance, love, the heart chakra is the magnet. That's where abundance is, okay? I was doing the Archangel Shamuel meditation yesterday. He talks a lot about that. It Love is abundance. So you're creating abundance and you're in alignment with abundance. We saw the violet flame. It feels like, you know, uh, with the help of Archangel Michael, cutting cords and getting rid of toxic energy and low vibrational energy and people that are, you know, um, in lack or stuck in their life out of your energy is what's raising your vibration. Okay. Um, I'm getting that very strongly here. You are a leader. Again, uh, I got this energy the other day, yesterday, you are flying really high right now. You're soaring really high. And your energy may threaten others, but don't step down because eventually they'll be inspired, okay, by you just being the change. People's egos, you're just by you being you, people's egos are crumbling and cr crushing, crushing. You're crushing people's egos by just being you, okay, with this beautiful grace, graceful energy that you're in, empress energy, Okay. Through gratitude. Uh, you're such a beautiful light. You're, you're such a, your heart light is on. You're such a beautiful light. Okay. You are a beacon for others. Wise leader. Let's go ahead and keep that. Some of you guys have public, look at that. Lie back and rest and relax. Watch and wait. Everything is falling into place. You're manifesting. Your ships are coming in. Okay. Aquarius. I see you. <laughs> Collective, this collective is wonderful. We're working together collectively here. Every time we meditate, every time we do shadow work, we're helping the collective to heal family, okay? The collective consciousness is what I'm picking up on here, okay? Yes, you're stepping into your power, very being the leader that you are. Some of you guys have platforms, okay, that you're putting your work out. Yeah, you're coming out of the box, status quo i heard this is the fool you're coming out of the box uh you're getting the bigger picture you're seeing the bigger picture of everything if something happens that's like beyond your control you understand you're, you're looking you know you understand why the purpose and the reason behind it right you are strong beyond measure there you are with your staff leading the way people are watching you people watching you go you have your lantern um you're expanding your horizons. You're, you, I'm getting stepping out of the comfort zone, taking leaps of faith into the unknown. View from above. You're seeing the bigger picture. You, you're, you're, you're ahead of everybody else because of that. You're ten to twenty steps ahead of everyone else. You arrive before everyone else does. Get ready for new horizons. Expand your horizons. Get ready. Grounding root chakra. Ground your energy. Walk in beauty. There's Saturn right there. Shout out to the heavens with happiness, grounding energy, root chakra, ground. Very, very important. Less, uh, not lesson. Yeah, wait, what? Lesson Saturn? Very important message about grounding today. Okay. So uh, let's see here about, uh, tell me here about this person that uh, we have changes coming um, at the bottom of the deck for Archangel Michael that came out yesterday as well. Tell me here about this person for, a, yeah, this person here is lurking in the shadows, watching you, Aquarius, okay? This person here in Aquarius is energy. You are guiding, you're the lighthouse. You're leading the way for everyone that's connected to you and, and, and others as well. Every single person you meet or touch or encounter, you're sharing your light. You're sharing your wisdom. I know I am. I know I am. I don't let anyone around me speak lock into their, into their reality. Um, you're teaching, you're teaching, you're leading the way by just being the change or being the change that you want to see. Tell me about this person healing the heart chakra as well. This person's connected to you. I, look what I say, fighting to emotionally detach, not winning. Okay. Again, this person is, 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 is feeling like they're, 
because they can't seem to detach from you, healing the heart here, their heart chakra is being activated as well. So are you, especially if you're having to do the hard thing and say goodbye to somebody you care about deeply, right? You're seeing the bigger picture of the situation. It's because there's no reciprocity, okay? That's why uh, one person was giving more. It wasn't balanced, okay? This person is reminiscing. Lurking in the shadows is still here. Uh, wants to recover the situation, wants to bring it back. They're feeling guilt from past actions and behavior. And a reconciliation is coming. They are waiting for this union. Can't seem to get you out of their head, out of their mind, okay? This person is feeling guilty. Um, so if they're, again, I, I said that earlier, right? This person here is realizing that Again, the egos that are being shattered, realizing that they're going to need to um, make some changes into their in their lives if they want to be with you or, you know, recover this connection with you, right? I feel like you are strong beyond measure and you're stepping into your power. You're taking your power back. And because of that, you're expanding your horizon. You're following your heart here. You're rooted in your decisions. You're grounded. You're practical. You're feeling stable in your life. Show me this person ready, willing, and able in their time is up, took too long in their free will energy, right? They're receiving some kind of enlightenment regarding love, going through a love drought. This is no ordinary love. Some of this may be biracial. Okay. doesn't have to be. Um, fairy tales do exist. This person thinks you're too good to be true, that this is too good to be true, that fairy tales doesn't exist, but they're getting some kind of a light bulb moment here. Okay. Time is up. They took too long to be ready, willing, and able, okay, to take action here towards you. They are you know, very, very willing and very able to. Okay. So it's, they're in their free will. It's the ego, right? The pride and the ego. Tell me more. Well, your heart is opening, which means, you know, you're opening yourself up to love here. I, I am feeling guided to read that from the book and I will read it from the book. Um, and in, in, in a little bit, tell me more about this person. Choosing the right path for us. Choosing the right path for us. Making plans. Tell me more. This person's making plans. Getting ready. Give me one more for this person. Caught up in their emotions. I was reading something interesting yesterday. About, um, about people that back to the good old times. That's what they want. They want to return back to the way things were, but you're not the same. You've been going through a transformation. You're constantly transforming, evolving, healing, growing, and ascending. The people that overthink. So yeah, that's what I read. I read the people that overthink that they, that that's how they, the overthinking, you know, cause we're Aquarius as we tend to do that too. It's our people that are trying to avoid facing the difficult emotions. They're trying to overanalyze everything, right? And that's why this person may be your mirror match, your mirror match, right? Mirrors here. Um, you know, you got yourself an overthinker, right? And you know all about that. And and overthinking comes from, let me see if I saved it because... Um, Because I, I actually, I'm, I'm feeling called and guided to read it. And then maybe you will we'll have some more awareness uh, about that, right? Right here. If you're an overthinker, it's because you're an underfeeler. Because we did see that this person is overthinking. Overthinking is a protective mechanism. It keeps you from feeling the discomfort, pain, or vulnerability that comes with accessing your emotions, you may not feel ready to have the capacity to experience. Your mind races with endless thoughts, analyzing every situation, replaying past events, or imagining future scenarios, all to avoid sitting with what's really going on inside. Emotions can feel overwhelming, especially if your default patterns involve suppressing or ignoring them, which I feel has been the case for this person. In response, your brain tries to protect you by keeping you stuck in your head, distracting you with thoughts. 
In doing this, it keeps you disconnected from the experience of discomfort in your body. But the constant mental noise leads to more anxiety, stress, and disconnection because you're not actually getting to the root root um, of what's happening. To break, to break the thought loops, it can be helpful to start to access the experience, access the experience of your emotions. So, uh, doing a vague uh, look up uh, if this is you. Look up the simple vagus nerve exercise, okay? By placing one hand on your chest and take deep breaths in the heart. Take deep, deep, slow breaths. Exhaling with a hum or a soft voo sound. This soothes your nervous system, encouraging a feeling of safety and allowing you to drop out of your head and into your body. And that's what I feel like you've been doing here. That's what it looks like with this uh, root and heart chakra. But this person here, you got to feel it to heal it, right? Um, that's caught up in their emotions. Uh, not your typical love story. Believe in divine timing. Let me get one more. So they're caught up in their emotions. So they're feeling all the feels right now and not knowing, needing to balance out their emotions, not knowing how to make sense of their emotions. Okay. It feels like they're feeling their emotions is trying to guide them. Our emotions guides us. Okay. Um, we're towards the path that we're meant to the right path. Okay. Unrevealed secrets. And look, we were just talking about that too much to think about. Okay. They're in their hearts that speaks the same language. Sitting in a puddle of self-pity and true love stories never end. <laughs> never ending story, I heard. Let's see. What else we got here for Aquarius? Opening your heart. Unlocking generosity. Look. We have five of cups, sadness, emotions, right? Caught up in the emotions, sadness, grief, disappointment, thinking a lot about the past. Look, devil energy there, Capricorn energy. You are a beacon for others and you are strong beyond measure. You, you are, uh, uh, you're stronger than you think you are, just heard spirits say. Two, 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 two on the clock now. All right. We have the higher font here. Wow, this person is coming in to offer some kind of commitment to you. Okay. That's very clear. Look, coming out of this energy, choosing the right path for us. Okay, Aquarius. You are expanding your horizons here. Okay. You're seeing the bigger picture of it all. You're getting a lot of enlightenment transmuting, alchemizing the energy. There you are. Uh, queen of wands, very attractive energy here. Magnetic fire, solar plexus energy. There's the black cat. You're very mysterious. Okay. Taking action in your life. Look, wise leader. This is a card of leadership. This card of strength, solar plexus, confidence, self-assured, independent, Okay, some of you guys, again, are uh, influencers, influencers, uh, very alluring and intriguing and magnetic and passionate, taking action, following your dreams. Okay, very attractive energy. What else for, uh, show me, what else for Aquarius? Whoa, here is the pinnacle coming your way, a windfall of abundance right here, choosing the right path for us. Is the Ace of Pentacles right under that? Lots of abundance, okay? A windfall of abundance, new job or multiple streams of income I'm getting for you here as well. You're expanding your horizons. You are, you know, taking action towards, you're seeing the golden opportunities and claiming it and taking action towards it and receiving here. Wow, rooted, root chakra. Didn't I say, look at this alchemy energy. Yeah, you are coming out of your head. Okay, or this could be somebody else in your energy that's in their head about reaching out to you. You're tempered. You're tempered yourself. You're in a state of peace. The angels are protecting you and guiding you. And this was that Archangel Michael that we saw cutting the cords. Okay, but this is also a card of soulmate. Soulmates as well. Okay, here you are feeling rooted, feeling grounded. Okay, receiving abundance, being in this energy of receiving, you're nurturing your ideas. You're being, this is somebody that's very patient, earth energy. You may have that in your chart 
or if if not, you're just like really, really rooted, really practical. Nurturing your ideas. There's a little rabbit there, fertile with a lot of ideas. You have enough to give. Generosity, you being generous and kind. Acts of service, I heard. You have enough to give. Okay. There was this young girl yesterday. That's what I mean, like simple acts of kindness. There was a young girl at work yesterday. She wanted a cup of coffee. She couldn't afford it. I went and I got it for her. Things like that. Acts of generosity, acts of kindness, which is creating more abundance for you. You're an earth angel. That's why. Okay. So, um, yeah, things are turning around for you because of that, uh, because your heart is opening. So you're, uh, there's a windfall of abundance here. You are balancing out the sacral and the and the and the the fire and the water the sacral and the solar plexus here being very patient with your process rooting down very practical i love this what else for aquarius there's an offer coming to you okay oh wow so we have the knight of cups in reverse the knight of cups in reverse caught up in emotions right this is somebody here that tends to be their, you know, their actions tends to not match their words. Okay. It tends to be a womanizer energy, <laughs> the, the Knight of Cups in reverse. And that's probably what's being revealed to you. Secrets, unrevealed secrets. This person may be giving to more than one person. This person is caught up in their emotions. Maybe they don't know how to approach you. Uh, again, five of cups, right? And we saw that right behind the Knight of Cups earlier. Clarify this Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. This person has as a has other people. That's what was revealed to okay? That they were a player. So this person is a love bomber in, in reverse. They come in, they speak all the right words, they say all the things, they even, you know, but there's no follow through. There's no follow through. I'm also getting this person here is not taking action towards you because of third party. They came out together, family, okay? I can't make this stuff up, right? Right right under the Knight of Cups in reverse. This person is a player, a womanizer. Womanizer, womanizer. There's that song, Britney Spears. <laughs> uh, we have Two of Cups, Burden, right? They're in love with you, okay? The player fell in love. They want to, this person, has, I heard, has groupies, has groupies, multiple people, because they require a lot of validation, reassurance, and attention. Um, yeah, they don't want it to end. Hard to say goodbye. They want to apologize, guilt for past actions. They're overwhelmed. Okay, but it's the end of this cycle. Putting down the burden here. Okay, feels like you could. You're gonna. You're gonna. You're expanding your horizons. You're taking a leap of faith. You could be offer being offered a new a new opportunity somewhere else. Can I have one more for Aquarius, please? The Emperor. The Divine Masculine. Clarify the Emperor. King of Pentacles. Yeah. This person is a sneaker sneakerton. A sneaky link. Okay. You're moving on from this person here. Um, if it's if if that's who this is. Tell me about this emperor. Their secrets are being revealed, okay, regarding their player ways here. They have other people, three swords, multiple people getting hurt here, including them. It feels like you outsmarted somebody. You checkmated somebody here, okay, because you are you're ahead of the game. You're ready here. Get ready for new horizons, right? That's what I'm getting here. You're coming out of the box. You're feeling better, feeling strong. You took your power back. Okay, stepping into your power. Uh, again, your angels is is helping your, to, for you to spread your wings so you can soar is what I got. Clarify this, Emperor. Yeah, there is no communication. There's retreating. Too much to think about, huh? There's a healing here that's taking place, a quieting the mind, a t a thinking about stuff. This person here, again, hasn't been able to come forward towards you here with any kind of offer 
because of some kind of third party stuff, okay, that they um, have to deal with still for some of you guys. Yeah, this, they want to offer you some kind of offer of stability, okay? Um, that's what it's looking like. But you are not, your cup is closed. You have a lot of self-love here, okay? And you are withholding. Tell me, clarify this four of, of wands for this emperor. You are getting ready to expand your horizons. Wow. Hmm, interesting. Is this emperor somebody new after you ended something with a player? Or is this emperor the same person? It feels like it might be somebody new with this Ace of Cups. This could be somebody new for you that after a period of retreat and, and healing, you are calling in and praying, right, for the right, your true match, your true emperor to come in, okay? Okay. And, um, it looks like you're getting ready to expand your horizons and start dating. All right. That's what it's looking like. You're opening your heart for others of you guys. This is the same person here healing and, um, realizing while they're in retreat, how much they love you. They want a new beginning in love with you. Okay. Overflow of love. You're caught up in their emotions here. This person. They, they've been taking a very long time to offer you something solid, something stable. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles. So now they want to choose the right path. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Yeah, look at that. This is what's coming in for you. I don't, I don't think you see it. Well, you're looking right at it here with Queen of Wands. This is what you're ready for. You're ready for... Again, a cycle is ending, making plans. Look, choosing the right path for us. Closing out a cycle. There you are. This person is moving towards the North Star. Closing something out. Ending something. Moving towards the, the star, which is you. The North Node. The North Star. Their destined path. Okay. Uh, following it. This is what's coming in here for you. You don't see it. But there is a definite, you know, new path here. Okay, expanding your horizons. Three of Wands. This is what's coming in for you. An offer. An Ace of Pentacles. So two Aces already here in your reading. Ace of Cups, which is, wow. See what happens when you align with the energy, when you open your heart. And Root. Root, Pentacle, Cup. The cup is sacral, right? But it's also connected to the heart because of love. The swords is heart because the swords is air. But again, it's just feelings of love, uh, emotions, feelings of love here, an overflow. Okay. Wow. Look what's coming in here for you. Long-term security and stability because you're aligning with the energy. You're laying down the foundation. I can't make this stuff up. It's taken a while. It's been a long journey, but it is arriving for you. Okay, a huge offer. Queen of Wands. There you are. Wow, you're in your star power. You are stepping into your power. You're strong beyond measure. You've been through so much. Hang in there. You're almost there. You're almost at the end. Okay, persevere. Okay, you've learned a lot from the past. You can trust yourself that with everything that you've learned, right, that you're not going to repeat it. Because you have discernment, strong discernment. You are absolutely a thousand percent in your power. Some of you guys, again, could be stars, actresses, musicians. You're in the public eye. Okay. This beautiful ma magician energy that you're in, sorceress energy. You're in alignment with your higher self, with the universe. You have a huge wish coming in, a huge dream because you, you know, again, you're in alignment with the energy, right? heavily connected your all of your chakras are activated here including your soul star chakra so there you are aquarius okay uh, uh, having faith having hope hope is restored faith is restored you have healed so much here you are pouring right your water onto the world okay people are looking up to you 
It's what I'm getting. You are a leader in your, in your, in your community, however way that is for you, being your family. Okay. However way that you are shining your light, that you're showing up for yourself and for the people in your life, for your community, in your corner of the world. This is how people are seeing you. This is how you're, this is a vibration. This is the energy that you're in. You're in, you are a rising star. Some of you guys are becoming very, some of you guys are going to become famous. Popularity, I heard. So, um, people don't know how to approach you. You're triggering people to rise up to the occasion. Yeah, look, this person, like I said, doesn't know how to approach you. Again, with the fire pony, they know that you're, they're going to come to the queen of swords. You're in your power is what I said. This person is very attracted to you with intimacy. They're not letting you go. But again, you're triggering this person to heal so that they can rise in emperor energy and approach you properly with a solid offer. If not, then you're opening your, you're expanding your horizons. You're opening yourself up to new beginnings, new opportunities. You could be dealing with an Aries or an Aries is coming into your life or another Aquarius or Sagittarius here or, or any air sign. But again, it's like you're, you're, you're not budging. Okay. You're not interested in this person's games, their manipulation, their lies, their in and out. I'm not interested in emotionally unavailable people, physically unavailable people that are unstable, that are flighty in their energy. Okay. That are in it for a good time, not a long time, uh, instant gratification and temporary pleasures, right? You're, you're, you're solid here. In, in what you, who you are, what you are, and what you want. Maybe this person's unrevealed secrets here is how much they love you, that they are in love with you. Okay. And they can't, they're not coming in to offer you this cup because there's other people here interfering in the way, blocking this person from coming in. And that's the emotions that this person is caught up, but yeah, super guarded energy. They're nervous. They don't know how to, you know, how to approach you. They feel it intuitively that you're in queen of swords energy, or somehow you said something to them. You spoke your truth. You, you know, lay down the law. You drew a line in the sand. You set some kind of a boundary. Okay. With this person took your power back. And now because of that, here you are standing strong here. Uh, let me read this. Uh, and here comes these aces. Here comes this opportunity. It's a card of divine timing coming towards you, Aquarius. Beautiful. My God, my God. <laughs> I love it. Stargate, Stargate heart 144. I'm going to read that because that's how you're attracting this in through the heart. Maybe I uh, want to do heart chakra meditation. Okay. Do a heart chakra meditation uh, today. Um, do root chakra, keep working on your heart. Keep listening to Archangel Samuel. The heart chakra is our connection to love and generosity. When open, it can take us on a powerful expedition to experience love. In Sanskrit, in Sanskrit, it is known as the Anahata, which means unstruck or even unbroken, revealing that even though we may feel our heart is broken, our true spiritual heart is always whole. The heart chakra governs all aspects of our heart, including relationships and lights us up. And of course, our self-worth this get, yeah, you're, you found your worth. That's what it is. Ha. You healed codependency, abandonment wounds. You've been healing that. Okay. You're not accepting less than what you deserve. And because of that, it's coming in. This gateway transports us to the Emerald city, the temple of our heart. The sacred space within is a place of wonder and love. Here we are. Reminded of the sacredness we hold within and are encouraged to know that although it's like a hidden treasure, this beauty deserves to be seen and enjoyed by the outer world in the gateway, in the gateway image, there's a path to the Emerald city, but it is a path less traveled. This can represent many years of denying our self-worth and also moments during many lifetimes when we pushed love away. But now we're moving closer to the love we are. Here's your message. I am going to get a message from this person to you. 
Uh, your heart space is a sacred space deep within you. For some time, you have protected it with psychic shields that have not only stopped you from being hurt, but also stopped you from feeling love. This gateway appearing shows that you have finally dropped these shields and are ready to experience love. Universal wisdom wants you to know that this is your divine right. You are highly empathic and generous soul who has so much to give and you are being called to to forth uh, to re, to reveal you're being called forth sorry you've been called forth to reveal the deeper and more vulnerable aspects of your being divine light beings are surrounding you holding you and encouraging you to relax all the restrictions and blockages of your heart space have now been removed ooh wee the worst is behind you and the world needs you the worst is behind you and the world needs you how beautiful is that Let's get messages from this person to you, and then we'll get you uh, uh, guidance and love. Here it comes, Aquarius. Here comes the offer. Because you dropped the energetic shields, so now it, there's an opening, okay, for uh, your manifestations to come in. That's why it's important to do the meditations, the healing, the inner healing work. All right, I need to be strong. I need to be strong in who I am before I can merge my energy with yours in the 3D. I'm afraid I could lose myself in this relationship. This person still hasn't um, figured out how to balance out their emotions, how to temper their emotions, how to sit with their emotions yet, right? We talked about the overthinker. Person hasn't quite yet... Um, that's what I feel they're doing here in this, if that's the same person and the four swords, okay? They're sitting with, they're caught up in the emotions, sitting, sitting with their emotions, knowing that they need to reveal something to you, confess something. All right, what does this person want to say? I want to let my guard down with you. We saw that. But fear makes me lash out in self-defense. This person lashes out. They don't have, again, control over their emotions. They don't know how to sit with their emotions, balance out their emotions, temper their emotions, embrace their emotions, honor their emotions, what their emotions is trying to tell them. This person, uh, you know, it's a pattern of theirs. This is what they do. They, you can't even have a conversation with this person. I've been grounded all of my life. It's hard for me to trust the spiritual elements of our connection, but I can't not get it, deny that it, that it exists. You're moving on. That for some of you guys, that's what I feel. I'm not happy. This person has these uh, other energies around them. Could be friends, could be family. That is stopping this person, influencing this person. Karma, behaviors, people, or situations is playing a role with what's happening with me, and it's hard for me to see a way out. This person is miserable. We saw the five of cups. I don't feel deserving, and it's affecting my levels of abundance. Uh, the ace of cups is a cu is an energy of a lot of abundance. Okay, so this person here is not their heart's not open. They don't feel worthy. We saw the heart chakra is connected to worthiness. So is the root. I don't, and I don't feel deserving. It's affecting my levels of abundance and openness, two fours. And we have another one here. You're, you're projecting your own fears and limitations onto me. Could be right. Mirroring energy, you're mirroring each other. Both of you guys resisting. Uh, you have your own reasons for that because you found your worth and this person is not treating you in the way that you deserve and you are worthy of They're in fire pony energy. Go within and understand that you're seeing yourself, not me. Um, this person settles in these third parties, uh, mess because they don't feel that's what they feel that they deserve. Um, this kind of toxicity here, unhappiness, lots of people. And this person probably gambles. They have addictions. It feels like drinking here. I'm seeing that this person may be very much, um, caught up and tied up in the superficial material world, material uh, trappings of the physical world. 
That's what's keeping them where they are for some. And a job they hate um, uh, or a relationship or marriage or with people that, you know, for money, from status for money. Okay. And um, that's not where you are. That's you're in your higher self here, not in your ego. And that's what you have been going through the ego death about. So it's not a match, right? An energetic match. But again, you're challenging this person here to ascend into emperor energy. If this is not somebody new, what else does this person want to say to Aquarius? I wish I could say what I really feel. Someday I will, but right now I'm afraid to be myself. Please send the energetic support. Use the frequency of love to uplift me because I need your help. This person is constantly needing you. They need to, you know, save themselves, heal themselves. When our conversations are lighthearted and playful, it eases the tension that is that is sometimes there when we talk. Well, it, you know, <laughs> this person wants to keep, doesn't want to go deep into discussions that needs to be had right? Vulnerability. They want to keep things lighthearted and, and, and playful with that's fine and all right. But that's like, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deep. And sometimes it's not just superficial, lighthearted. Sometimes we got to have these, you know, difficult, intense, deeper co conversations so we can vo be vulnerable with each other to, to, you know, so we can understand each other learn more about each other, you know, and, um, and express how we feel, right? This person is not comfortable with sitting with emotions or talking about emotions or feelings. Okay. The emperor, uh, tends to be domineering, controlling, you know, uh, not very emotionally. A lot of people depend on this person as well. I care about you, even though I act like I don't. I'm hiding my, tr again, true unrevealed secrets. I'm hiding my true feelings from you because I feel vulnerable. Yeah, this person wants to know everything about you. That's why they're lurking in the shadows. Wants to know everything about you. But I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid I'll get in too deep. Exactly. This person doesn't want to get in too deep. This person just wants to be lighthearted and superficial and shallow and, you know, playful. And this person may have a, um, Gemini in their chart somewhere. And one of the top four where they take a, where they have a very playful approach to love for some of them or Aries. Okay. Um, let's get you guidance. Romance, Cupid's arrow strikes. Ooh, either way, you are expanding your horizons, okay? You're expanding your horizons. You are checking out what else is out there. Going on dates, I heard. Going on dates, Aquarius. Because you're manifesting a, a solid, something solid. Uh, you know, a relationship, companionship, partnership, somebody that wants to grow with you, that's your match, wants to grow with you, evolve with you, transform, heal, learn, right? That is on the same page with you, have the same vision, the same common goal to create an empire, build an empire, create abundance, legacy, right? Build a solid foundation here with you. And if this person just want, wants to play around, you know, you're triggering, you're challenging this person. When it comes to the matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So again, there is a learning here. Uh, don't beat yourself up if you feel like you said something you shouldn't have said. You know, oh, is it because I said this that this person pulled away? Or is it because I did this? Or maybe I didn't do this or I should have done that. There is no right or wrong. Release judgment of yourself. Passion. Yeah. Fam, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at the present. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may not always understand why certain things happen. Bigger picture here, right? However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your li life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. There's a blessing that's coming your way. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Wow, what beautiful energy, fam. I love you. God bless you. Namaste. Much love.